Hi, I'm Jay Ewing. I'm here with uh, Kevin from uh, Southwest Landmark, and uh, we supply Joe his supplies for his turf and his tree and his shrub treatments mm -hmm. throughout the season. And uh, what Joe does in this neighborhood is he applies plant health care uh, to some of the trees and shrubs in the beds to help uh, ward off from disease and insect and just give it an overall better appearance. And what, what we have in these products is uh, the two main components would be beneficial bacteria and uh, mycorrhizae. And uh, what that does, you're basically feeding the soil so that the soil can feed the plants. And mm -hmm. uh, in some of our harsh soils that we find in central Ohio, um, they've gotten turned over, so to speak, where the subsoils are on top, the topsoils are on bottom, so there isn't any microbial activity. If you don't have any microbial activity, the plants can't take up nutrients or even water. So what he's going to do today, he's going to apply BioPack Plus which is a 3020 analysis with like 7% iron in it along with other micronutrients and the beneficial bacteria. And uh, typically speaking, uh, I think his program encompasses two applications during the season, one coming out of the winter to help get it going for the growing season and then one again when we approach dog days of the summer so that we can get through those harsh uh, days that are, are long with the sunshine and the heat. So um, right now I think he's got a tank mixed up and he's going to show an example of how to apply this. It's just typically uh, applied with a soil drench, uh, meaning straight out of the tank after he mixes it up and drenching, drenching it on the root zone of the uh, plant that he desires to uh, apply it to. So, um, so well, let's go any further. Let's get to it. We'll just go here across the front of this landscape here and we'll just apply it to some of the typical shrubs you'll find in central Ohio. And then we'll go around the back and we'll have a tougher growing area and we can show it applied to some of the plants that are in, you know, some container area and they were harder to establish the roots there. We actually had great results. We have three bird's nest spruce with some pigmy barberry and, and three more uh, bird's nest spruce. So what we're going to do, I'm going to uh, I'm going to go in front of Joe with the soil probe uh, and poke holes through the mulch layer and even into the soil uh, right around the root zone of these plants so that when he comes through with his his material he can just root drench right over and around the root systems of these plants because that root system is in, in the top six to seven inches so that's the only place he's going to try and target those roots. Hmm. difficult and we have a, another method with a spud bar. A lot more weight gets that hole accomplished a lot easier.
leaves on anything. Uh, vegetables, shrubs, trees, turf, anything. Um, you'll get the same benefit on any type of species of plant material. We'll go around in the back and we'll check out the cleaning bed before we apply the product and have some great results. And we're uh, just poking a series of holes so that we can get down to the root system. And Joe's going to come back. He struggled with these junipers earlier in the season, and they were just beat up. They were yellow, anemic, on the verge of being taken out. They just looked terrible. They were an eyesore. And uh, he applied, made two applications of BioPack, one in the spring and one in the summer. He's going to do one more here this fall. And uh, obviously, they've taken root now because they take a lot of wind here, and what happens is they'll get a head on wind and these things will fall over because they don't have much of a root system. Well Joe's just saying they withstood the last wind we had this earlier in the week and didn't blow over. So that's a credit to the root system being expanded with the application of this biopack. You're all ready to go there. I got it. Amazing how something as simplistic as punching holes around a root system and putting a hose to it can be so effective. But when you're putting the right things in the soil, that's what you get. I got that one ready. And again, this is a raised bed, so therefore. You know, it doesn't get the benefit of native soil, what native soil would get. You've got to constantly augment this so that you can keep the population of bacteria where it needs to be, keep the plants healthy. You did talk to him about how yes. over this past summer. Yes. Yeah, I did. I said that they were in decline. There was no root system. Every time he got a strong wind, they'd blow over. They were yellow and anemic. and Now they're even getting dense and full. And uh, going to create that screen that he's kind of looking for here eventually from the par five here. One thing I'd like to mention that Kevin was talking about is like the ease of this product. All we have to do is get it to the soil. Sometimes, you know, things may be out of reach. We'll fill a bucket up. We'll go over to the planting. You know, there's obviously a planting down there in the corner of the yard. Put it on the bucket. As long as we get this product to the soil, the results speak for themselves healthier, the plants thrive in conditions where they're growing, even if it is a harsh condition or it may not be a natural place for the plant to be growing, the soil needs some augmentation. Hmm. Well, the other nice thing, you don't need a lot of sophisticated materials. I mean, you got a $30 spud bar and a bucket from Home Depot with the garden hose and, and the right component. Uh, in the bucket, of course. Got a little rain to help benefit us here today, too, mm -hmm. because that'll help leach that material down in there even better. got planting urns over here where there's some wave petunias that have just about seen their day. Uh, the growing season for annuals is over, but if you do, were to apply this once a month on, on annuals in the summer, you would have award-winning annuals. They just, the blooms get bigger, the color gets more vibrant, and that's again because of the expanded root system that this creates when you apply it.